G'day, Sambo here. Um, been away from the shack for 12 days now. It's about half past four on a Friday afternoon. 12.1 on the voltage, that's not looking good at all. Here's my usage, 2.863 kilowatt hours. That looks like a big splotch of bird crap up there. <clears throat> and no, I didn't pre-position that myself. So I'm going to get up there and give that a scrub down. See if that makes any difference. So you can't see it very well, but there's dust or pollen all over this bird crap. So I'll give it a wipe down. Looks better already. Now I'll go down and have a look at the voltage. There's my rainwater tank, main rainwater tank. 90,000 litres, roughly 24,000 US gallons. And that one there is about 1,100 US gallons, about 4,000 litres. That's no load, 22.2 volts coming off the solar panel. Here's my latest little gadget, watt meter. I just got this hooked up between the solar panel and the charge controller. So on the left here is the source, that's hooked up to the solar panel. On the right, you can see load, and that's going to the charge controller. So this is showing my voltage. 12.35 volts. 20.5 watts. So you can see it's varying a little bit. Point zero five two amp hours, point six watt hours, one point seven two amps peak. So I'm just going to leave this on here, and it'll give me some indication of how much power this um, hundred watt panel's putting out in a day. Not a bad day, but as you can see, it's overcast. That voltmeter there is showing twelve point three on the batteries. I just put the Multimeter on the batteries are showing 12.1 volts. I've got no load on them at the moment. The inverter's turned off. And the watt meter. So with a 100 watt panel, my peak wattage is right there, 70.4 watts. And currently bringing in 36 watts. Not a whole lot. It's about 20 past 1 now. I've had uh, this watt meter on since 9 o'clock, so say 4.5 hours. Uh, it's about 13 amp hours, 172 watt hours. So with my fridge using about 200 to 250 watt hours a day, there's 170 odd watt hours just in about 4.5 hours. You can see why I sort of I fall behind it a little bit. 600 watts worth of panels should definitely fix that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in another video.